hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to make super easy biryani let's get recipe started I have here 3 glass of long grain basmati rice which means 750 gram. The first thing we have to do that wash the rice well. I got plenty water in the rice and leave that about 30 minutes. In the meantime I am going to show you how to marinate the chicken so let's have a look here I have 700 gram of chicken I cut the chicken into medium size and I gashed the chicken so so that the marination and masalas straight go in here I have one medium size ginger seven green chilies you can adjust the spicy level as per your taste 12 cloves of garlic this ratio is for rice and as well as marination and some mint leaves and coriander leaves Then 250 ml of milk, 3 tablespoon of khoya or mawa. I am using here homemade khoya and 200 gram of curd. I am going to make a nice fresh garam masala for the biryani. Let's see how to make this. 3 large cinnamon, 13 piece of cardamom, 15 to 20 cloves, 1 net mug, 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now we will fry the spices in a pan. Fry the spices till a light color change. Now we will grind the spices into a nice and fine powder. Now the garam masala is ready. Here I have 25 to 30 gram of garam masala. We are not using the full amount. Now let's have a look of masalas. One and one and half spoon of chili powder, one spoon of garam masala, two tablespoon of methi leaves or fenugreek leaves, two spoon of cumin powder, one spoon of pepper powder, and one spoon of fennel powder.
Now let's begin the marination. Put the masalas into a large dish. Now add the khoya and curd. And chopped mint leaves and coriander leaves. And add some salt. Here I am using some red food color. It is totally optional. Finally, we will add ginger garlic chili paste and mix the mixture very well. Now add the chicken and rub all these masalas into this piece of chicken. Make sure it's nicely rubbed and marination reaches each and every cut and incision of the chicken piece. Now rest the chicken aside. Now we will make the fried onion for that. Here I have 11 onions. Cut the onion very slicely. Heat the pot. And here I am adding 4 large spoon of mustard oil. You can use any other of oil. Now add the sliced onion. Soak the onion very well. We will keep fry this. I am looking for a nice golden color. Now these are wonderfully golden color and they are absolutely perfect. Okay, now I drain the oil and keep the onion aside. Let the onion cool down. You can see the texture of the onion. It's very crispy. Isn't it? Now let's make the chicken masala. In the same pot add some oil. I am using the same oil which I fried the onion. Now Put the chicken masala into oil. Let them cook for 10 minutes. Now add the fried onion and mix it well.
after 2 minutes of cook, we will add the milk. We have to cook the chicken until the milk gets dry. Now you can see the masala is dry. Now turn off the flame and keep aside. Now let's get on with our rice. 3 to 4 bay leaves, some cloves and some ginger garlic chili paste it's about 2 spoon and 2 cinnamons and 3 to 4 cardamom and some coriander and mint leaf. Heat the pot and add plenty of water. There is no measurement for the water. You can fill the water till the top. Now add the spices into the water. Wait for a boil and add ginger garlic chilli paste and mint leaves and coriander leaves. When the water get boiled, add 1 tablespoon of vinegar. It's help the rice separator. Now mix it well. Add some salt now. Now add the soft rice. Now close the lid and cook the rice for 20 minutes. Meantime, we will make the color for the rice. For that, here I have 4 spoon of milk. Add some yellow food color. You can use saffron as well. 1 teaspoon of rose water. Mix the mixture very well. Here I have some cashews and raisins for decorating, it's optional. Heat a pan, add some ghee and fry the cashews and raisins into light golden color.
now our rice is ready Drain the rice very well. We will cool this rice in a large dish so that it will cool quickly. Now let's layer up biryani. First put the chicken masala into a dish. Now put the rice on the top. Now I am going to add a little bit of color mixture. And the wonderful crispy fried onion and some chopped coriander and mint leaves some cashews and raisins on the top and some ghee Now we will repeat the layer. Now we will dump the biryani, take a pot like this, fill some water, wait for the boil. And keep the dish on the top. This procedure will not burn the chicken. Now close the lid and put some charcoal on the top. This will keep the biryani nicely done. Keep the biryani about 15 minutes. Finally, I will show you how to make a fluffy and creamy salad for the biryani. For that, one cucumber finely chopped, one onion nicely chopped, one character finely chopped, two green chili nicely chopped, some coriander and mint leaves, half lemon. Here I have 200 ml of curd. Firstly, we will beat the curd into a creamy texture. Now add one tablespoon of honey and 
some salt Now add the vegetables into the bowl. Now squeeze the lemon juice. Mix the mixture very nicely. Our fluffy and creamy salad is ready now. Now we will open the lid. Our biryani is ready now. You can see how moisture is the rice. And very well separated. Now let's serve the biryani.